In this tutorial, I'll explain to you how to stake your Azero using, of course, the Azero wallet. So you only, the wallet is allowed to use, it's only Azero wallet. You're not allowed to use any wallet at the moment. So if you haven't set up your Azero wallet, so look at the description, there's a link uh, of how to set up the wallet and also how to uh, transfer the Azeros from your crypto exchange to the wallet. Once you've done this, so you should be able to see in the account the number of Azeros which you have. So this is, uh, this is just only a, a test account which I have uh, set up. And there is only one Azero, almost one Azero there. And I just I want to show you the step, the steps how to, uh, um stake your coins very simple straightforward uh, nothing complicated really right so what you need to do you just need to go to network and staking after staking as you see there are 10 validators only available can you see there are only 10 validators so we are a nominators, yeah? You are the nominator. So you need to choose the validator to stake your coins there. So you are the nominator, not the validator. So distinguish between the two terms, please. So to choose a validator, the choice of validator it doesn't matter really at the beginning. Because why? Because all these validator, validators are all from found the foundation nodes. So what does that mean? This means they don't charge any commission. So as you see, the commission is zero. There is no commission at all. So later, I'm not sure when later really, maybe after one month, two months, three months, six months, I don't know. After the private uh, validators uh, come along, then they will charge a commission if you stake uh, your coins and you need to choose the right validator. But anyway, for the sake of this tutorial, at the moment, guys, don't worry. Choosing the validator is not gonna make, doesn't make any difference, guys, trust me, at all. You can choose any validator you want. There is no risk at all. So once you've done it and that's it. So yes, here we go. You just need to go account action. From account action, you need to um, create a nominator account because you are a nominator because you are staking your coins. So once you've done this, so as you see, you just need to write or put the amount which you need to stake. So the minimum is 100 as zero. So I have only one as zero. So as you see, I cannot stake one as zero. But as I mentioned, this is only test to show you how to set, up, to set it up very simple that, that's it so you just need minimum a zero once you've got minimum as zeros so you just stake the amount value bonded means uh, how much you're going to stake you just keep this one the same payment destination in the stash account meaning the cold wallet and keep everything the same just put the amount which you need to stake which is as i mentioned minimum 100 as zeros. once you've done this you just need to put next yeah which I couldn't uh, click on it now because of uh, the amount. Once you click next, what you need to do, you will see the validators, the 10 validators. You just need to choose one validator, only one validator. And after that, you just confirm and that's it, job done. Once you're confirmed, you need to wait 24 hours to be um, validated, so being confirmed. You just need to wait a 24 hours. Once you wait a 24 hours, you access your account. Next time your wallet, you should be able to see the number of coins which being staked here. So that's all. So if you want to unstake your coins, so you just need to click here. There is a three dots here. You click on it and you can unstake. So if you want to unstake your coins, you can do this, but there is a 14 days period which you need to wait so wait 14 days so basically what does that mean this means you need to wait 14 days so this is that's all 
very simple. So of course, if you are struggling or you find it challenging, so please ask me on the comments and I'll be happy to reply to you as soon as I can. It's really straightforward, guys. So that's all. If you uh, enjoy the video or you found it um, useful, at least uh, consider uh, hitting the like button and subscribe for more videos. Thank you very much.